The old giant couldn't stand it and copped a torch. Ow! Hot, hot! Threw the giant out of the house. Looking at the portrait of the Queen of England on the wall, he thought of a perfect plan. Have the old giant create a nightmare with countless armies and lots of flesh-eating giants eating lots of children. Anna and the old giant were in it. Hopefully, through this dream, he would make the queen realize these dangers. Then carefully came to the queen's bed and blew this dream into her dream world. The queen woke up with a start to find the little girl standing in front of her window. She told the queen that the dream she had just had was real. Thinking about the man-eating giants on Giant Island and not wanting the nightmare to come true. The queen also has a bunch of goodies for her, but takes a taste of her coffee and throws up all of a sudden. After finishing the old giant started performing the sparkling water he made and poured it on everyone one by one. Said everyone took the green sparkling water and drank it all, even the puppies. After eating and drinking, the helicopter followed the old giant and flew to Giant's Island. Before doing so, the old giant prepared a super nightmare for them. But just as he was about to blow the dream, the giant woke up. Now I've got you, little human. Anna hurriedly raised the jar and slammed it into the ground. The nightmares, one by one, got into the noses and eyes of the giants, who were all affected by the nightmares. The boss of the giants went up to catch Anna, but the old giant pushed him away. He picked up the old giant at once and was ready to hit him. At that moment, the helicopter threw out a hook and caught the giants and took them all away. Then, they're taken to a deserted island. At the end of the day, a whole bunch of bitter gourds are left behind, so it looks like they'll have to be vegetarians on the island for the rest of their lives.